Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Adriana, and today we have Ellie with me. Hi. And we are going to be doing a girl talk. I got 15 questions off of my YOLO on Snapchat, so let's get right to it. Okay. Da, 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 da. Some of these questions she will be answering, some of them I will be answering because she does not have experience with them. Parents, please click off of this right now. No parents allowed. No parents allowed. Suggested for ages 13 and up. But yeah. So, would you like to start or would you want me to? Do we just choose any? It don't matter. It don't gotta go in order. Okay. Um, first question. How do you know if you love someone? I don't even know what love is, honestly. This is a hard one. Well, you know if you love someone if they treat you right. If you're happy when you're with them. If they make if they're happy when they're with you, if you laugh, you know, it's when you feel that um, it's, serotonin, when you feel that happiness. I was about to say serotonin. It's a, it's the happiness. It's like a feeling you get, you know, when you think about them, you constantly get butterflies or just the thought of them makes you smile, you know? Yeah. And we're talking about like relationship love, obviously. You yeah. No, nah. I am not a pro at love. I wish, I wish. Girl would have a diamond ring on her finger. I'll buy you one. Okay. <laughs> um. When is what is a good age uh, to lose your virginity? Now we're not gonna be like me, so I'm just gonna say the age 16 and up because 16 you're like you're in high school, so mm -hmm. I would not recommend anything lower than that. Wait until you're in high school, not middle school. No, no, you're too young, too young. Do not know what a relationship is. High school. And when you're 16, if you live in Pennsylvania, that is the legal age of consent that you can, you Con know, consent I someone. I thought it was 13. No, in Pennsylvania, it's 16. 16 is when it is legal for one to give their consent. Um, to, so, yeah. If you live in Pennsylvania, make sure 16 because if your parents don't agree or something happens and um, you can, you and your ex can be filed for fines and possibly go to jail. And we don't want none of that. Mm -mm. So stay safe. Okay? Stay, safe. stay safe. Use protection. Always use protection. Yes. Birth control, condoms, you know, mm -hmm. etc. Be yes. safe. You can go ahead and do Um, How often should you shave? How often should you shave? That depends. On I think it really are. is all. It's in your reference and what mm -hmm. you like. I like to stay shaved unless it's winter. If it's winter, I don't usually shave my legs because like I'm wearing jeans anyway. Yeah. So no one's gonna see them. Yeah. So it's mainly in your comfort, like um, whether if you're going out and you're like, I don't know if I should shave or not. Just look at your outfit and see um, if you should or not. I so, mean, if you don't want to shave, hey, we ain't judging. You know, that's your own mm -hmm. preference. I always shave if I'm wearing shorts or, or if we're talking about shaving down there, like, I'd say at least once a week, you know, mm -hmm. or every couple of days, but yeah. Um, okay, weird question here. This is a question about sex. Should you wear socks? This really is in your preference. I don't like to. I mean, they say it makes you, you know, finish quicker. Yeah, it's literally scientifically proven, apparently. But I I don't like to. It's just what you're comfortable with. It doesn't really matter. Like, but yeah. Get you all, get all your sushi socks. Get she your got sushi, sushi socks. Sushi socks. I got pink and white. Mine are better. Um, <laughs> personal hygiene, very important. And this is talking about. They were talking about like down there in that question it's very specific. important very important to keep down there clean mm -hmm. don't want no fishiness don't want no yeast infections ladies we we all know we don't we've need, heard of them we don't need any bread we don't need no bread cooking down there you said yeast, <laughs> so we don't need just <clears throat> now i'd say the safest thing to use when cleaning is your hand i know it sounds nasty Use your hand to clean because like if you use like a sponge that you keep hanging up in your bathroom, it could have like bacteria or stuff on it, which can just make it worse, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I've heard other YouTubers say they use like Vagisil and stuff like that. 
I know some people are against that. I personally, I know Dove, like the unscented kind is good for down there, like, or the sensitive skin type. Um, Summer's Eve, I know people hate Summer's Eve. I don't know why y'all hate it so much. I don't want to get into that debate, but that's just what me and my family use. You know, it's all just unscented stuff and sensitive skin mm -hmm. types. So soaps are good. You can say anything you want. Mm -hmm. Any other advice you might have? Um, just keep it clean. We don't want you to have to go to the doctor's get an infection. We don't want you to go through pain. Um, and it's not fun. <laughs> and just so you guys know, infections down there do not just come from sex. You can get them from not being clean down there. Also, another thing when shaving down there, make sure you're going in the directions of the hair. Just saying, so you don't get like a razor burn. Yeah, it. It's not fun. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not fun. We all been there, you know, at least once. Tips for getting rid of acne. So I myself have acne, and um, acne sucks. <laughs> it does. Um, there are times where I look at myself. I'm just like, why? But um, Neutrogena definitely um sometimes it does make your skin dry sometimes like when you first use it but also dove soap every day just put dove soap over your face when you're in the shower in the morning or evening and it definitely it does get rid of it i think the type of face wash i use is clean and clear i have this like clean and clear lotion that's like for helping with acne and it moisturizes your face too mm -hmm. and then i use like this charcoal scrub which like i don't remember what it's what it's called so once i find a picture i'm gonna have it right here that's what it looks like <laughs> but face masks yeah. also work i don't know be careful with face masks because some of them have too many chemicals and like i have really sensitive skin so it can burn my skin sometimes read read the ingredients read what's in it just be very careful with that um advice for preparing with for an appointment you know the doing the deed well i'm gonna just say shave because you know y'all want to be like chewbacca Make sure you're clean and everywhere so you don't smell uh, bad. So you don't smell uh, bad. That was Chewbacca. And that's about it. You know, it don't gotta be, y'all gotta dress up all fancy schmancy unless y'all are going out to eat first maybe, but. Be comfortable. Yeah. Make sure you give a verbal consent. And yes. make sure, you know, consent. don't do it if you're not ready. Make sure you're ready, but yeah. Yeah. Consent is very important. So if you don't want to, there's never, like, if you're getting ready you're all excited but then you're like oh i'm not sure it's okay say i'm sorry not right now yeah because you know you don't want it to happen and then you end up regretting it after but if we're talking about preparing for it i just say shave make sure you smell nice you know wear some nice perfume mm -hmm. lotion up so you're not ashy i get ashy in the winter <laughs> um yeah that's about it for that oh blah, 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 blah. What helps with your periods? Mm. Uh, I just always take Advil or ibuprofen mm -hmm. for my cramps. Uh, heating pads. I've never used a heating pad before, but I'm guessing you have. Yeah, heating pads, you can switch between putting it on your back and your stomach. Or even if you don't have a heating pad, if you have a pet, lay them across your stomach. Mm. Backpack. <laughs> a what? Fanny pack, sorry, fanny pack. A fanny pack. They like a fanny pack. Yeah. Just lay them They're there. They like a fanny pack. They warm your tummy. I know sleeping with your period can suck because, like, if I have really bad cramps, I'm not able to sleep. Like, I'll be I'll be laying on my side all balled up, and I'm just like, yeah. Showers definitely help if you turn it warm. It's like a heating pad, so if you don't have a heating pad, you can always go in the shower. Also, if you're on your period, please shower every day. Yes. No one wants to smell that. Yeah. Like, we understand what you're going through, but we don't want to smell it. Like, being a girl myself, I don't even like smelling myself, like... Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, no. It's not pleasant. <laughs> just it's not pleasant sure, of a smell. Just make sure, and this goes in with, like, um, self-cleaning, clean yourself. Shower daily yeah. when you're on your period. Like, maybe if you're off your period, then you could go every other day, but just mm -hmm. please shower every day if you're on your period, you know? Mm -hmm. Stay clean. Because that, if you don't, then that can also give you infections. But periods, also, I know you want to eat that junk food, girl. I know I'd be giving in for that. But it will make you bloated as heck and it will not make you feel good. So maybe like, I don't care if you have a snack or two here and there when you're on your period, but uh, just try to eat as healthy as you can. Lots of water. Water helps too. Water for sure helps. It also helps lighten your flow too mm -hmm. if you drink a lot of water. Um, 
on the topic of periods let's move on to birth control she's not on birth control but i am and i've experienced a couple so uh, birth control does usually does usually now i am not a pro at this it does usually help lighten your periods okay so i started out on the shot when i was in like i think seventh grade we're not gonna get into why it's just because my period and because my parents don't trust me but i don't blame them but seventh grade you know i started out on the shot and with the shot uh it, it was the one you get every three months and it made me gain a lot of weight you know everyone's experience is different i gained like 10 pounds in like two months she girl got a little chunky but I think I was on that until like I think it was eighth grade and then I switched to the pill which was obviously every day and mine I'm pretty sure has like hormones some don't have hormones some do and um the pill was a lot better like with your period when I was on the shot I spotted for like three weeks like legit like there was only one week when I was off of my actual period out of the month like three weeks was spotting and then my period whatever but with the pill like my period's been a lot lighter I I used to get it for like a full seven to eight days. Now it's like I start on Tuesday and I end on Friday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's only four days. Like everyone's body is different. I'm not saying you're going to have the same experience as me, but just my experience. I take the birth control. It's called Larissa and it definitely helps. Like there's side effects though. Like I'll, every once in a while I get like headaches, but I think the biggest thing I notice is bloating after I eat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, I mean, if you're talking about me recommending stuff i definitely say the pill if you're gonna start if you want you can go with the shot i don't know everyone's experience is different shot if you're bad with re with um remembering mm -hmm. or they have a kind where you can insert it into your arm and it stays there for i think five years or there's one that like goes up in you which oh my aunt got that done and she said that whenever you put it in there's two tabs that stick out and they put it in on each side you know and she said that it feels it's literally a contract that you have contraption what's it called contraction 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 like having a baby you have one of those contractions for each side that they put in and i'm not trying to go through that so i'm not doing that because i'm gonna have a kid in the future but i'm not trying to experience that pain yet but that was her experience i assume that was the same for other people because the doctors said that's what it was mm -hmm. but yeah that's as far as i know for birth control mm -hmm. um how far how long into a relationship did you get a promise ring? A promise ring? I am single, but I would say, I'd say at the earliest, probably like six months mm -hmm. to a year would be like a good time range. Because me and Xander, we had rings. They weren't exactly promise rings, but we had rings. And I think we got them on our six month. Yeah. I just think anything sooner than six months is a little too soon. Like you want to make sure the relationship's actually going to last before you promise to be together you know mm -hmm. like you can get like promise promise rings like you're gonna promise them that you're gonna get a promise ring so it's <laughs> just sort of like like that's temporary I, that's what i have now so it's like a temporary like promise ring for my girlfriend so it's just like something that you can get them and then be like well this is you know for now and then in the future if things still go well then i'll get you an actual promise ring but like um especially when you're at our age those things can be expensive too yeah so yeah they can be very expensive so it's nice to sort of wait off and see if it's actually going to go well because if you buy like a hundred dollar ring and then um you are going to give it to them and then things don't go well now you have a hundred dollar ring and you have no one to give it to so it's best to wait yeah even if you get them like different gifts like necklaces or i have yeah. a necklace and a bracelet which you're not wearing yours are you it's upstairs these are friendship ones with my guy best friend and then with her yeah mine's upstairs but yeah um let's see any other questions how to get over an ex mm. i'll let you do this one i mean mm. I'll, I'll chip in but i'm just gonna let you talk about this one um so in the past i have not i have not been in good relationships um but um, it is hard, uh, especially when you're not in a good one and you feel like all of it was your fault. I, I went through that and just know that it's not. It's not your fault. Things just didn't go well and um, 
you could say, oh, it's their fault. And it, it could be, they could have been rude or something, but. I feel like every problem with the relationship though, there's a little bit from both yes, sides. Yes, there is, there is. So it's never just one person that it's. Um, it takes two to tango, as they say. Yes. But um, if you get an, if you're trying to get over an ex, it is hard. Uh, look at me, me and Xander have been on and off for about two years, two, three years almost three years actually and no i'm not over him i mean we may end up back together we may not what happens happens you shall see what happens but mm. yeah when you date someone for a really long time those feelings aren't just gonna fade away mm. if it's like a short amount of time that you guys have dated for like me and my most recent ex we dated for like a month and he ended up playing with my feelings okay let's be real about it he was a douche but I'd say the best way to go over like a short-term relationship, block them. I know you may regret it. Block them on every social media. Block their number, block Snap, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Because you do not want them popping up on your timeline. Because no one wants to see their ex doing good without them. Mm -hmm. Or even just being reminded of them. Like, my aunt would be like, oh, what happened to so-and-so? And I'm just like, I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Block them because yeah yeah go and ahead. don't instantly go to someone else i mean like if you're talking to someone and you're like oh this could possibly work then go to them but, but don't, don't just try to rebound mm -hmm. because then you're not going to be happy and it's not going to be out of true emotions it's mm -hmm. gonna yeah uh, da, 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 advice for someone who's trying to move on from someone who's toxic <laughs> me um so toxic people oh how we love them <laughs> um again it's hard it is it's hard to move on from someone who's toxic and who's had a bad impact in your life but um my even if it's not sorry even if it's not people like you're dating like your family too can be mm -hmm. toxic like mm -hmm. this is for another story time but my dad you see sometimes you just gotta cut them off mm -hmm. skirt but yeah. proceed but um how would you how would you move on from someone who's toxic like how would you personally what would you do if i was to move on from oh well i did move on from people who were toxic um i blocked them i did it may seem hard but like in the long run it's fine oh again I what i was yeah. talking about too no i know what i was gonna say my one teacher my relationship and self-defense teacher um she's just like six months she says that in her class and so he knows what it means. So six months is, if you think about it in six months, is it going to affect you like it is now? So if you just got out of a toxic relationship and you blocked them and um, you don't see them, think about, is this going to affect you in six months? And if you say no, then, then that's good because then it'll help you slowly um, get out of it. But if you said yes, then um, you'll need a little bit more extra help, and that's okay. It's okay to have help. So you can always talk to your school counselor. If you don't feel comfortable with them, you can talk to a friend and stuff because you're never alone. You're never alone. Sometimes it may seem like it. I know I felt like that at times, but you're not. You have people all around you who are willing to help. Um, yeah, so just think about it. Think about is this going to affect you in the future? Okay, and then the last question that they gave me was curly hair routine my hair is not as amazing as it seems people <laughs> i don't really have a routine honestly i just so it's bad to wash curly hair every day because it dries it out if you guys didn't know you should not wash it every day maybe every three days my mom yells at me she's like your hair's gonna get so nasty and dirty no it is unhealthy for us it dries your hair out it also depends on the texture you have like my sister she can wash her hair every day and she's fine she has curly hair but hers is like more dense or whatever but I always condition every day and I wash every two or three days. Um, other than that, I use a leave-in conditioner spray and then I put like a cream in, you know, brush that through my hair and then just throw it up. This one girl I was talking to, she says that she leaves regular conditioner in her hair, never rinses it out and she uses that to detangle her hair. I was looking that up about trying that, but it makes your hair really heavy, which can cause breakage. So... I mean, I don't know. It just depends on your hair, but I don't really have routine. That's about it. Though. And don't be afraid to do research. Just make sure you double check your research. Like, I'm always trying different products and stuff with my hair because my hair, I just don't know what to do with it. Like, I'd leave it down, but I need a haircut. 
but I'll, I'll cover yeah. for you. She would shave my head if she if she tried to cut my hair. Yeah. She'd end up shaving it. She'd yeah. be like, oh, vroom, <laughs> off the top. My own hair gone. <laughs> You'll look like the mayor from the Grinch. No. <laughs> he had like the. <laughs> okay that's all for now that is all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe down below down below down below share this video with your friends you know my social media will be linked in the description and i will see you next time whenever the heck i decide to post i know my posting schedule has been off for like four months but that is because covid so stay safe stay healthy mask goes above the nose that's what my mom always says she always yells at me <laughs> Pull it up above your nose. But yeah, be safe out there. Hope you guys have a good new year. 2021, here we go. Let's make this a better year than 2020 because we all know this year has been hell. Mm. But it's going to be a good year. Think positive and have a nice day. <gasps> Bye. Bye.